Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of the modular booster system being made by forum user Starwhip, and this is a parts mod which adds into the game an ability you just don't have in vanilla, but an ability that I've always wanted, and that is a way of more fine-tuned controls, or having more fine-tuned controls, rather, of your boosters, because, well, every Kerbal loves a good booster. As you know, the old adage, if you can't get into space, just add more boosters. But if we head into the VAB, one of the issues I've always had with said boosters, boy, I'm saying that word a lot, is, well, all you had was a single gigantic thing, or, of course, a smaller one with one of these. And that was it. That was all the control you had over your boosters. Now, you could do a thrust limiter, which is nice to have, but still, I mean, this was it. This was it. It's, you know, a single-use engine, because, well, it's a solid rocket booster. That's what they are in real life. But with the modular booster system, it actually adds solid fuel, fuel tanks into the game, which I love the idea of that. So we have down here the modular booster system SFS0625, which is a 0.625 meter fuel tank with 10 solid fuel inside. We then have the SFS125, with which is a 1.25 meter in size tank with 200 solid fuel. And then lastly, the SFS-250, which is a 2.5 meter solid fuel tank, which carries 1,400. And this, this is gorgeous. Because now we're not just limited to a pre-made SRB. Now we can effectively make our own in you know varying sizes and shapes, and you can fine-tune the control of how much solid fuel you want by adding or subtracting tanks. And that is, well, just glorious. If I want a solid fuel booster that has, you know, just 30 little solid fuel. Well, there we go. That's all we needed is those three little tanks. And if we just want to subtract and have 10, there we are. We are good to go. And it's all thanks to this wonderful little mod. Now, of course, the fuel tanks for the solid fuel aren't all there are. We then have a an arrangement of six solid rocket booster engines, which start here of the SRN0625, which is a uh, sort of... Uh, it's a low thrust, high ISP engine that burns less fuel per second and is good for, of course, the .625 tanks. There is then a second .625 tank, the HT, which burns fuel far more quickly, has far more thrust, but less ISP, and yeah, it'll basically get you... Well, it'll spend your fuel a lot more quickly. Like, oh dear god, actually, that was a 5.127 per second. This tiny little tank is 10. So in less than two seconds, you would be out of fuel with this thing. Uh, but yeah, it'd get you some good thrust. It'd get you a nice little boost up into the air. Now we then go up in size to the 1.25 meter ones, where we have a similar situation. We have the lower thrust, higher ISP, more fuel efficient version of the point or the 1.25 engine, and then the far less fuel efficient but with far more thrust version right there. I love the <laughs> difference. It's actually kind of amusing looking at these. They uh, the size of the nozzles is going up. It's quite nice. We're building some sort of weird pyramid-like thing. And then, of course, we get to the 2.5 meter in size, and same thing here. We have the one with far less thrust, but more fuel efficient, and the one with far more thrust, but will burn up all your fuel very quickly. And I, I really do love the look of them all stacked like that. That is... It's kind of amusing and kind of cool. But yeah, so with this, you can make whatever sort of little weird design you want. So let's just grab a 1.25 meter one here real quick and just grab the smaller thrust engine and just go out to launch with just a single tank to sort of show you uh, kind of the difference between what we currently have and what you can have with this mod. As of course, with just a single 
solid fuel tank, and an engine. This works effectively like any normal SRB. Wow, that is a gigantic flame on that thing, though. Dear God. And it burns through the 200 fuel quite quickly, and I also just realized that flame is not exactly coming out of the nozzle now, is it? And overheating a bit. Understandably so with that gigantic flame. But yeah, that's essentially like any SRB that already exists in the game. But if we revert the flight back to the vehicle assembly building and add a second one of these tanks, well, now we've doubled the fuel capacity of this SRB and can go to launch. And, well, we have control now over our solid rocket boosters. They're not just a simple place and go. You can adjust them to your needs with how much fuel you may or may not need for that mission. As you notice, we now have 400 fuel, and I kinda wanna wait until this one burns down so we can then go to the next solid fuel tank. And there we go. You can see that it will pull from one tank after another, just like a regular liquid fuel or oxidizer, but instead it's solid fuel, which hasn't had that capability previously in the vanilla game. And, well, that's just wonderful, but if we revert flight once again, we can, you know, change it and adjust it however we like, and now you do still have a thrust limiter. I also just noticed that this had a gimbal. I did not notice that earlier. Hold on one second, do all of them have gimbals? They do. I'll be darned, I did not realize that these solid rocket boosters also had some control. But, uh, yeah, that's... That's interesting. But thanks to this weird fuel system now in-game, we can put on any size and shape of things that we want. Even one of these gigantic tanks up top, and it will pull the fuel from whatever we have on there and allow to fly, though granted we probably wouldn't be able to fly with that one. So let's grab the high thrust one, bam, and go out to launch again. I don't know why I just saved that crappy little ship. But with this weird monstrosity, well, we have a solid fuel rocket booster that we can customize, and I just, I just love that. And launch, away we go with the tiny little engine. Now see that, that flame is far more reasonable. We're actually probably gonna go check the last engine here in a second. Cause yeah, that uh, 1.25 one was just a ginormous freaking flame, which did not, did not seem reasonable in the slightest. And of course, since this is surprisingly a gimbaled solid rocket booster uh, we do have some control over it far more than you would expect from a solid rocket booster and of course if you are a fan of the career mode this is integrated in with the tech tree already so uh, it, it may not quite be balanced yet but uh, you know it is in there in the tech tree so you can uh, you know do your usual thing with researching and uh, yeah, it's it's quite nice. Now, the models were just recently updated. Uh, they are working on new textures, which would be nice to have. And uh, yeah, it's overall, I, I just love the idea of having control over our solid rocket boosters. And let's actually do one more test, because yeah, I do want to see the larger engine. So let's just pop you off and crab just one of the large engines here. It certainly doesn't fit the ship, but oh well, and oh my god, actually, how long will that take to burn out all that fuel? A couple of seconds, a couple of seconds, at 87.8 per second, and this being a total of 400. Yeah, that's, um, <laughs> it's not gonna last long at all. But okay, let's launch and see what the flame is on this one. I am intrigued to see if it's even larger than the 1.25. Dear God, could you imagine that? It would engulf the entirety of the platform. So let's launch. Actually, it's roughly the same size as the 1.25 meter one. Huh, I'll be darned, look at that. <laughs> and dear Lord, that thing went up quick. Let's do that again. I liked how fast that thing launched. And yeah, definitely did not last long because of course it uses up a whole lot of fuel. But yeah, it's a... Uh, it's quite interesting. So maybe something on the 1.25 meter they need to fix. The uh, rocket flame for that is kind of massive. It's the same size as this 2.5 meter one. 
But nonetheless, it is fun, it is wonderful, I love this mod. And if you would like to go and check this out for yourself, you can always go and check out the link in the description. And I would definitely say to check it out. Have the ability in the game to actually customize your SRBs. That's just glorious. I love that, and yeah, I'm definitely seeing myself using this quite a lot in the future, and I hope you do too, and of course, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode, and that you come back for the next when we will be looking at yet another fun mod, but until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. Now I'm gonna let poor Jebediah crash into the ground and explode in a ball of flaming doom. Ha, ah, poor Jebediah. This happens to him far too often. Later!